Hey everybody, do your ducks need cleaning? Well, I'm Harry Tuttle, and I'm here to talk to you about ducks. Actually, I'm Model Man, and I'm going to see Harry Tuttle tonight, along with Baron Munchausen, over in Santa Monica. So, I had ducks and duct worked on my mind. And what I've got going on right here is a uh, preliminary uh, dry run test of uh, how everything's going to work out. Switches are just set in place right at the moment. First one would be the fan. Currently it's set to high, off, and low. Uh, second one here would be booth lights for work lights and then mood lights or ambient lights. Over here, what I'd like to do is control the air compressor and there's a lower cabinet fan under there. And I've also left a couple other options open as well, but right now it's just those two. This panel is going to connect to the lower booth, which is not part of this right here. The blower fan down there will be connected up there, as is this small fan here. And there's just enough room for fitting for those guys right there. And from here, the question is how to control the air compressor and a fan from switches over here without splicing these power lines there. The result? simply plug the power into an outlet here, run that power to over here, and then run all that down to that power strip there, which runs to an extension cord, which terminates right over there. I had thought the blower would be wiring into one of these boxes here, however, it needs to go straight to the switch because of the low and the high power, and then it will turn into an adapter to which plugs into that power down there and uh, I think that's about it this battery's starting to get low there's not much otherwise to see though I did take the LED tape from the previous paint box and just laid it out here and that just showed me that I really need to have a full ceiling all across the entire thing so I need to lay out more rows all across the whole thing so I can do the lighting much more properly than it is right now and so I'm just getting down to the final wiring on this. So I've just ordered the air filter for this. That's going to be another two to three weeks. I've got the wiring to do on this down here, and uh, I'll have that done sooner than the filter, certainly. But other than that, that's about it. Until this gets done, there's not a lot else that's getting done, so this needs to get done fast. So videos are coming up, a couple round two reviews going back to February. So i got to get those backlogged, and that's going to be it for the immediate future. But uh, this is going pretty well, I think. So thanks for watching, as always. See ya. And here are a few YouTube channels that might interest you. As always, The Scale Model Addict. Scott Gervan brings you his own work, and The Scale Model Addict Forum and Scale Model Addict Magazine. Dr. Faust's The Painting Clinic. Check out Tony for miniatures and model painting. What time is it? It's Cranky Time. With his lab rat Ori assistant Igor, Dr. Cranky brings you the best in rats, rods, and rust. Steve Neal's Garage with Rosie the Wonder Dog, Mary, and Xena. Featuring feature film props, restorations, and scale model artistry. Scott Alexander of Atomic City Models, specializing in 2001 A Space Odyssey model recreations and a few other notable genre pieces as well. Braddock 001, whether a 1 to 1 scale Borg sleep station, droids of any make or model, or even popular superhero armor or any kind of sculpture, look to Brad Carpenter to bring it. And for the trials, tribulations, and tales of my car Red 2 and its droid lemons, check in on Gears McTinkerson. Bad Grendel's for fine model work, timer chips, and electronics knowledge. The Model Man Tom channel would like to thank the following for their sponsorship. Elliot Brown of Kingston Vacuum Works, featuring Fedoratron.com and WarmPlastic.com. Lighting for extraordinary modelers and vacuum forming tables for designers, modelers, and engineers. Kingston Vacuum Works covers it all. Paul at thefiberopticstore.com, now presenting the beta version of its new site, thefiberopticprojects.com, for an exceptional selection and great prices of fiber optics of all sizes and quantities, thefiberopticstore.com. 
Carpenter Creations. If you can dream it, you can make it. Brad and Carpenter, science fiction artiste. From full-scale board cubicles, or droid displays of all kinds, Carpenter Creations. Steve Neal's Garage, props and models for motion picture and discerning collectors, as well as prosthetic makeup and CG. Contact Steve through stevenealsgarage.com. Model reviews from Round 2 Models, AMT, MPC, Polar Lights, and Lindbergh. Scale Model Attic Magazine. Issue 3 now available. Issue number 4 is in the works. The Orbital Defense Engineering Commission, a 2001 A Space Odyssey specific forum for scale model kits, reviews, news, and discussion. Odec.proboards.com More than just talk. Hobbytalk.com, a forum for every hobby. And for the finest reference collection of feature film studio props and miniatures and models, it's Modelers Miniatures and Magic at ModelerMagic.com. <laughs>